just a really quick one I hope on the uh, on my precious uh, movement here for the uh, Seth Thomas mantle clock that I've had for about six years five six years I actually got it in a haul job hauling job it was a lady who was dying of cancer in a hospice and unfortunately her whole life was still in the house and the person that had bought in the house to turn it was helping me throw everything into the dump truck and I've got a 1965 Schwinn bicycle there were a lot of things but it was um, it was kind of a heavy day on a lot of levels for me anyway but um, I might as well say some more about that um, I have a I have this typewriter right here I don't know if you can see it in the lighting the guy threw it out of the second story window into a pile of junk in the back of my truck <laughs> it didn't do a damn thing to it had a fairly soft landing but uh, it flew about 30 feet before it landed and um, it still works uh, but anyway uh, oh yeah I know what I was gonna say is in one of the upstairs bedrooms was a box full of handwritten letters and I didn't snoop as to what they were I ended up throwing them in the landfill but I looked at the date on a couple of them and it was 1912 so anyway back to the clock here this thing probably hasn't run for many years and this is the main spring over here for the uh, timing mechanism that, that keeps time this spring right here is for the chime and um, I don't know a lot about these but the things really dirty and I had the movement laying on a table and it just got covered with dust it's still dusty right now but my my thing is is the spring was really wound tight when I got it it was totally wound so I assume that the the clock hasn't worked for a long time <clears throat> as you can see when the spring relaxes you can see you can see through it and I am lining this thing up I don't see any worn out points on it all these little ax axis points right here there are a number of them everything looks great it's real high quality material but I want to relax the, the spring so it has gaps in it so when I put this in the ultrasonic um, uh, surgical instrument cleaner is what it was mainly designed for and I'm going to use water-based degreaser I want to be able to get in between like this spring is here on the main spring over here so uh, I found out I I uh, I have it as you can see I've got it lifted on one end if I if it's lifted like this the mechanism works but if I even bring it halfway down to level it'll stop so uh, I'm just getting, doing what I can do to get that spring to, to relax so I can clean in between it and hopefully cleaning it real good I'm planning on uh, using a, a toothbrush on the outside and get as much of this old lube and grease out of there that I can I'll blast some carb cleaner through it and then the ultrasonic will break everything loose and I'm hoping I can squeeze some uh, tri-flow grease and then tri-flow uh, oil in there carefully and then hopefully it'll work when I set it level because I'd like to put the clock back together but over here this arm right here where, where are we at? this arm right here connects to a hammer that hits the chimes that are inside the body of the clock itself but uh, here's the the cog wheel right here or no it's actually I don't know if you can see the lighting right here this one that one right there you see the notches in it I don't know a lot about it but these double deep ones right here where am I at? you can see there's one right there that is the half hour it just does one chime on the half hour and then the rest of them are counted out for a, a bong every for every hour you know 11 of them for 11 o'clock hour but if I lift this up it will it will do it I, I guess it, I don't know what this is about right here it's some kind of a little two blade I don't know if it's a fan or what that's for but sure be nice to talk to somebody that knows a lot about these here goes this clock's probably about 90 years old I sure hope it works that'd be kinda neat to hear it chiming away around around the clock it'd be kinda like having a friend in the house here calling out okay that's it